Yeah. You know you got a big fight with it this early, and I still just love kind of turn out. It's great. There's a line outside, which is pretty amazing since 14,000 tickets are already sold. So, like, um, my mind is positively blown. Um, this is a huge night for a huge fight in a division that's as hot as a division can be, full of talent. Um, we're coming back to the Boston Center, coming off what's going to be, uh, you know, again, the rest of the night got rolling, it goes over with a glitch, but um, in terms of promotion, in terms of attention to our sport, uh, it doesn't get better than this. You know, Ray Leonard said to me on the, the day as yesterday, he, he, he like, poked me and he said, feels like the old days, huh? And, um, and it does feel like the old days, because there's heat on boxing right now. There's, there's heat on the welterweight division. Tonight, there's a great, great fight. You know, Thurman Garcia, Garcia Thurman, however you want to put it. Um, but, you know, two guys in a betting fight. I just, betting fight, the line just came down. Danny Garcia is taking some money. The spread is, you know, between the two guys is coming down um, because it's that kind of fight. Uh, two, you know, two of the very best fighting two of the very best. And Showtime, which is on the roll of rolls over the last, like, really year and a half, but particularly over the last 12 months. Um, Showtime, we're coming back with, you know, premier boxing champions on Showtime, and Showtime Championship Boxing at the Barclay Center on April 22nd um, with another great show, and another show that's going to sell tickets because it's just good stuff. And um, Berto Porter is a can't-miss fight, another can't-miss fight, another can't-miss fight in the welterweight division. Um, it's been my pleasure to work with Sean and his dad in you know, recent fights and you know, get to know these guys over the course of the last couple of years. You know, we were here, you know, we said at the time we, we had one of the biggest fights ever here in the Barclays Center. It's going to be eclipsed by tonight, but Thurman and Porter was a tremendous event. It was a tremendous event in the ring. Uh, it was a fight that, that was sensational and where Sean had every reason to walk away saying, shit, I should have gotten that decision. Um, he didn't, and it was a close fight, that's why Thurman's fighting tonight. But he's back here now in a huge fight again on April 22nd with a guy that I know really well since he's a kid. Uh, called him before his Olympic Games and said, uh, you're going to be a great pro, I don't really care if you win or not. The Olympics don't worry about it, your style's not made with the Olympics. We had a long conversation about it. Uh, I sort of said to him, I think you're going to get robbed uh, over there. But when you come back, we're going to get a deal done because you're going to be a great pro. And uh, he went there and he got robbed and we got a deal done and he was a great pro. And, um, and this is a fight between two great pros. You can't miss. And I'm so thrilled. April 22nd, we're going on sale tonight at 6.30 in the arena with a pre-sale. It's $500 VIP tickets. 350 ring size. And down to a $50 ticket. So we're on sale in less than an hour in the arena. Public sale will begin Wednesday. There's a private sale between now and, and Wednesday. Um, we're going to keep the momentum going. And the man that's really making this momentum right now in a big way um, is about to say a few words. And I, I'm grateful to him for uh, everything he's doing right now to keep boxing uh, on an elevated plane. Um, and to keep getting fights to the people, you know, either on Showtime Premium Cable or on, you know, Showtime Boxing on CBS, presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Uh, you know, getting fights to the most eyeballs. Tonight on CBS, that's great stuff. Back on Showtime at the Barclays Center with a great fight. Uh, shortly, that's great stuff. And I'm really thrilled for my friend Steven Espinosa. Thanks, Lou. Um, I do have to correct uh, one thing. You know, I'm uh, candidly, I'm not the person making this happen. Uh, it certainly takes the cooperation of, of networks and promoters, uh, but really, fights like this don't happen without fighters, um, and it all starts with fighters willing to fight the best. And it's the best fighting the best, and that's really what allows this to happen is when fighters are willing to take on the best fighters in their division, forget about the first loss, forget about the second loss, forget about losing, just making the best fights possible, we get this kind of momentum. With respect to April 22nd, you know, Lou, I think, accurately described it all. Um, 
Sean is just you know this close to actually being here in this fight tonight against Danny Garcia. Um, you know, but for a couple seconds in a couple rounds, um, you know, we're probably sitting here and and Keith Thurman's here talking about possibly fighting uh, Andre Berto. Uh, as for Andre, we know um, he's never in a boring fight. Never has been. Never will be. So uh, this is once again the top guys of the division facing off against the top guys in the division. And in the larger picture, it's part of what really has been a de facto welterweight tournament. Uh, we didn't announce it that way. It was drawn up that way, but you know we don't want to make assumptions. You, you announce a tournament and then everyone sort of uh, complains if it doesn't happen exactly according to plan. But in this particular event, it is going according to plan. Um, these two guys, the winner's going to be right back in the thick of things. Um, we've got a, a phenomenal fight tonight. We've got another fight on Showtime in Spence versus Brooke. Um, and right there between this series of fights, really, that started you know, last summer with, with Sean Porter and Keith Thurman, you're seeing the best of the welterweight division. And hopefully, with a little bit of luck, we'll have something close to an undisputed champion or maybe even an undisputed champion within the next six to nine to 12 months. Uh, but most importantly, what I do know is on April 22nd, we'll have an action-packed fight against with, with two of the best guys in the division. And I can't wait. Thanks, guys. Right, you are Mark's here, he's smiling. Because he knows we have a record-setting event tonight. Um, but we're gonna have another great event here on April 22nd. And, um, a lot of the momentum we're, we're having together in, in this city right now, um, it's a team thing. And it, it's, 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 as Stephen said, it starts with fighters willing to fight fighters, but it also goes with people willing to work together um, to build a program, to build something that, that where momentum continues, where you know you do a good fight card, you follow it up with another good fight card. And, and you know the people will come, as we're seeing lately in this great arena. So I'm thrilled to bring up my, my friend, who's uh, the CEO of the Barclays Center, Greg Romark. Um, this will be very brief. Obviously, i um, thrilled about tonight. Um, this thing's been building um, for about four and a half years now. We made a, a major commitment to boxing. Uh, fortunate enough to work with Stephen and Lou. and. Um, Tonight, I think, is indicative of what this thing can become on a regular basis. Uh, April 22nd should be another special night, and um, there's more to come. So thank you for all uh, for coming tonight. It should be a spectacular evening. We will, re we will set records, on both in attendance and, and hopefully the gate as well for a non-Nets event. And um, we're in for something pretty special. Thank you. But there are a bunch of people here that work for, for me, that work for the Barclays Center, they work for Al, PPC, uh, guys like Sam and Brad, Louie, um, guys like Anthony who are in the trenches every day and, and every day work is going into building what we're doing here and, and creating these opportunities for these guys who want these opportunities, who rise to the moment. And, and, uh, and it's going to be a good run, it's going to continue, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to say that I don't like we're sitting here, we're announcing one fight, but we're really announcing a continuing series of great boxing. Um, I just tried to call Marisa Sulman. We're in discussions, and, and this, there's a very good chance this fight will be announced. It will be an elimination, title elimination bat uh, for the WBC mandatory. So, um, you know, when, when Steven said what we're doing is creating a series of fights, we are creating a series of fights. Literally, Marisa and I have been on the phone today about this. We're working on it. Um, but, but again, that's how you assure, make sure your mandatories are a great fight and you, you got great stuff coming. And, uh, and that's what we're doing here. Um, there are two great trainers involved in this fight. I'm not gonna get into these guys' credentials, you know them. They don't have belts right now, but they're champions. I mean, these are two guys, they're physically similar in stature. Um, they're offensive minded, they had a box. Uh, and they know the importance of this fight. Winner of this fight is gonna get a mega fight. That's it. Loser of this fight is gonna get upset. But um, whatever this fight's gonna have a tremendous opportunity. So uh, first, I'll bring up a great trainer, a uh, great relationship with his son. One of the situations of boxing where the father-son relationship really works well, and the way it's supposed to. Uh, my pleasure to bring up Kenny Porter. 
Thank you everybody for coming out today. It is a pleasure to be here. Um, thank the Barclays for having us. Coming back here is um, it's great. I can't say uh, anything more than that. The first time we were here was tremendous and we were the crowd. The atmosphere is something that we love. So here we are again. Uh, I'd like to thank Showtime, Steven Espinosa, Everyone that's here today is here for a reason. Everybody's got a job to do. I'd like to thank Mr. Andre Berto. Because contrary to what a lot of people think, all of us come from the same place and all of us coaches. I'd like to thank Coach Virgil Hunter. Um, people don't know this, he was one of my mentors when Sean was about 10 years old. And Sean was looking up to Andre when Andre was doing all the things he did. Two great fighters, great coach, great uh, venue, Great network. We're happy to be a part of this. Thank you. Another great coach with Andre Berto. Um, it's early in their relationship. I think Berto uh, is excited about this opportunity and what's been happening with him and Virgil. So, uh, a great friend, Virgil Hunter. Virgil. And good to see everybody uh, for a great event tonight. Thanks to Showtime. Thanks to everybody involved. Um, a little focused on what's going on tonight, so I can't remember all the names. But um, uh, Kenny is right, but what he didn't know, I was trying to steal Sean. <laughs> but it is. I believe it's going to be a very action-packed fight between uh, two action-oriented guys. Um, I know each, and in, each individual will be in great condition, and this is what boxing is all about, and um, this is what uh, BBC is all about, and um, I, I appreciate everything. My phone rang, but that actually wasn't Risa Suleiman, and this is a fight for the mandatory of the WBC. Oh. Uh, yeah. Final event. This is the, the winner is a mandatory for the WBC. Yes. So this guy doesn't need a lot of introduction, but it, the show we put on here the last time he was here was unbelievable. Um, you know, no one was really complaining and moaning hard about what happened in terms of the decision. But if he would have gotten the decision, it would have been the same thing. No one would have complained because that was the kind of fight it was. This guy's a great fighter, great champion. Showtime, Sean Porter. Wow, I have to say thank you to Lou, thank you to Mr. Su uh, Suleiman. Only thing on my mind right now is the WVC title. Yeah. That is the only thing on my mind. Uh, I turned pro a long time ago, and not long after, I made it a goal of mine before I retired to win that WVC title. So I feel like that's about to happen. Obviously, I got something to work on April 22nd. Not looking, not looking past through you at all, Andre Berto. Respect you as a man, respect you as a fighter, you know that. Uh, we are friends, but like y'all saw me and Keith Thurman, we're friends too. Now that the fight, it's all about the business. Now it's all about getting that WBC title. I'll see y'all soon, April 22nd, right here at the Barclays Center. Thank you. Um, Coach, you a couple of press guys asked me before I walked in here, why is this in Brooklyn? Well, very simple reason. These guys are, are known boxers and known talent everywhere. And this guy just had the biggest fight of his career right in this room. And this guy, his career was built to a large extent in New York City. People forget that, but, but on, you know, Andre, when we first got started, um, prom I got started promoting him when he was a kid. Um, Broadway Boxing was his initial home, and he, and he fought a lot of fights in New York. He's got a tremendous connection to the city as well as to an unbelievable Haitian community, Haitian-American community in Brooklyn. So this fight belongs in Brooklyn, and it is in Brooklyn. And, uh, Andre Berto. Oh man, it was great to be back. It was great to be back. I want to say thank you to Lou DeBello. I said I started with Lou. Yeah, he got me straight out of the Olympic Games and uh, you know, we had a terrific run. So, uh, you know, looking forward to getting back to it. Um, I mean, like I said, it just, it just feels amazing just to be back in New York. Um, you know, me and my team, We've already been putting in a few weeks in the gym. We 
I dialed in with focus. I've had the WBC before, and I'm itching, itching to get it back. I'm already at the take up. The man that took it away from me this last fight, and um, I'm looking forward to take out anybody in front of me when it comes to standing in front of that again. So I uh, got much respect for, for Sean and his dad. They all know that. We've been friends for a long time. I got much respect for them. I know they're going to work their ass off for this one, and so am I. And I'm um, you know, looking forward to this next one, man. It's going to be a great one. It's going to be a great one. So nobody don't miss it. April 22nd, don't miss it. Said that the way that it came about was the two of you guys were on FaceTime, that Andre Gordo was on the toilet. Can you give your side of that story? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, happened, uh, I feel kind of violated. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I got a call from this guy right here. He sat back on FaceTime, and uh, and there he was. He had. Uh, he said, "Hey, how you doing, Bird? What's going on? Hey, look." I got Sean next to me. I was like, what? And I'm sitting on the toilet just trying to enjoy myself. And, uh, you know, me and him pretty much just talked it out right there on the toilet. And, 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 and you know, I told him what was going on. And, you know, it seemed like he didn't mind. So, uh, you know, like I said, we spoke. And, you know, we got me and him agreed on the situation. I just told him to, I mean, he knew he had to call to try to make sure that, you know, things went like it needed to go. And, uh, and then, you know, like I said, we finally just made it happen. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we can say this and say that and over one fight, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I mean, nothing matters until business gets, you know, done correctly. So, you know, we finally got business done and, you know, here we are. Thank you. Guys, have you sparred each other? Can you tell me about sharing a ring? Not once. Interesting. That's it. <laughs> Sean, how are you, Sean? You look sharp. You're keeping your dad in great shape. Uh, he's <laughs> keeping me in shape. <laughs> uh, what did you learn last year at the Barclays Center? Last time at the Barclays Center when you were here, I had it eight four for you. I thought you were tremendous in that fight. Uh, tell me, um, what do you mean? What did I? What did what I did, learn? What did you take from that fight? Um, we didn't get to ask you questions after that fight. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's true. So yeah. we didn't get to ask you questions. What did you learn? Or what are you going to uh, take from that fight into this fight with this bird? Um, you know, I think. You know, gearing up for Andre Berto, we, we definitely, we always focus on myself, but we will focus on his offensive movements, the things that he can do. Uh, he's got great speed, great counter punching, great counter punching ability. I think that was something else that, that kind of got me in the fight with Keith Thurman was, you know, good offense, but I left my head there a few times, and a few times more than I needed to, which, you know, gave him a few rounds uh, throughout the fight that, you know, ended up giving me the loss in the fight. So. I would say, if anything, being here at the Barclays, I, I learned that you guys, y'all know who y'all want to win. When y'all see who wins, y'all y'all make noise for that guy. And so I just got to keep doing what I'm doing, just do it a little bit better. Um, Andre, you've been with Vir Andre, you've been with Virgil Hunter for a little while now. Um, over the course of a number of training camps, how would you now describe your style in the ring? I mean, my style in the ring. Um of course, you know, with the Virgin and just with time in general, um, you know, there's a lot more experience, um, you know, there's pretty much having a lot more composure. And just, not just being so much just offensive, just because I have speed, I have power, and, and I can just go, 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 but just basically, you know, I mean, just setting everything up and just having a meaning for everything that we're doing, you know, and just make sure everything and every move and every punch and every, and every ounce of energy that, you know, that I generate, um, you know, it's for a purpose, you know, because like I said, just coming from where we come from, you know, I mean, just down south, we used to, you know, I just had ridiculous, you know, athletic ability. I was, you know, strong, fast. Didn't know what I was doing with it, though. You know, I just, they just let me out the cage and I just go. You know what I mean? So now it's just a lot more structured to what we're doing. Um, um, it's just making it a lot more effective, man. It's a lot more effective. Um, 
Um, I mean, I believe just all the way around, just a lot smarter fighter, you know, preparing and getting ready for fights as well. I mean, I, be, I believe a lot of people seen that, um, you know, and I got ready for the Floyd fight as well. Um, and, and, and just going into each camp, man, it just gets better and better and better. So I'm looking forward to going into this one. Um, and like I said, the same thing. We're a lot smarter, still fast, still strong, still explosive, but just adding a lot more different things to my, uh, you know, to my, you know, to my arsenal and being tremendous shape. Any other questions for Sean? Greg? Peterson coming off an impressive victory in Cincinnati. And the other one uh, will be featured on Showtime very soon, and that is Errol Spence uh, going for the world title against Kelp Brook. And uh, as soon as he's finished with the pictures, Lamont and Errol, you guys come up here as 